recently met up with some internet friends in London for a few days to catch a JPEG Mafia concert. Marmite. Oh, it's good, oh. isn't it? I mean, it's fine. I'll probably finish it. But salty. Yeah, yeah, yeah very it's salty. very, it's very salty. I'm fine, yeah. All right. The first couple days were chill because I was also working remotely, but we made up time by trying new things, like sushi. What do you think? Not bad, not bad out there. Sea bass, seven and a half out there. Right that, yeah. I don't, for a swag you. I know, that might actually just be. I don't know if I, if I can do that. But of course, we had to spend my day off doing everything else. We spent a considerable amount of time at this science museum. That's where I'm from. And we spent way too much time on this engineering simulator for kids. <laughs> I think it's stuck. All right, all right. <laughs> I tried, man. And that's when we spotted Minecraft. Look, look, cost, look, cost. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm saying this. This slide. It's so hard. I love it. We're gonna play rock paper scissors. If I win, you buy. Hey. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Show us, show us, show us, show us, show us. Minecraft shirts. <laughs> I tried it on and it actually looks so good. I'm okay, so, so happy. And Minecraft Lego. You're so tiny. Oh. Now I'm big. Whenever we saw the traditional telephone booths, we acted like tourists. Actually, these booths look a lot nicer. <laughs> Come on, what else did you expect? Well, as a photographer, so of course we had to take some pictures. Yeah, it looks good. We had coffee, but we were still tired from walking 15,000 steps, so we headed home and called our friend Tony. Okay, don't act like there isn't a good reason to We ended the night with some Kanye March Madness. I don't know! I couldn't really participate because I hadn't heard 90% of the songs on the bracket. I know this is difficult. The next day, I split up from the gang to meet up with my friend Josh and his boyfriend Justin. On a whim, we decided to check out the London Zoo. He's a little chunky. <laughs> yeah. Saw pretty much everything. My favorite was probably the butterfly exhibit. It was much nicer than the open spider exhibit, which I did not dare to film. Penguins were cool too. Can we keep him, Justin? Can we? Can we? Unfortunately, I had to cut our excursion short. It was time to meet up with my other friends for the JPEG Mafia concert. We got there pretty early, but the line was already very, oh very God. long. Oh my God. That should have been my first red flag. The second red flag should have been the massive crowd. Also, I was like probably one of three people in the entire venue who was wearing a mask, so it was not looking great on that front. Anyway, before I get too congested, I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience at the JPEG Mafia show in London. It was interesting. I knew that the crowd was going to be rowdy. I could see it from a mile away. There was this moment where Peggy was egging on the crowd. Oh, woo! And in this moment, everyone started getting hyped up. They started opening up the pit, forming a little circle, and therefore crushing me at the edge of the pit. So I thought I was in the back. No, nope, there was an entire section behind me. So I was in front of the light guys. Their booth wall was literally right behind me. I tried my best to kind of go with the flow. The girl in front of me, God bless her, she kept turning around and saying sorry. I was like, it's fine, I understand. But as soon as people started letting go, I sniped my pathway out, my fight or flight responses kicked in, and I booked it. Started clawing my way out of the mass of people. I did have a little mini panic attack. I was crying a little bit, it's okay. But I did manage to get out and I hung out by the bar for the rest of the uh, evening.
my other friends were with me and then our other friend was in the front from a safe distance unaffected by anything that was going on behind him so i do have some nice footage from him everyone say thank you gabe <laughs> After I got out of the crowd and had some fresh air, the rest of the show was great. Aside from our initial listen, this was like a new experience for me. I did listen to his feature on Flume, I just didn't know that it was him because I usually listen to it as a mixtape and just all of it flows together so nicely. I have a little bit of a fever right now, so I'm sorry if this doesn't make any sense, but uh, yeah, the show was great. Peggy lost his voice a little bit, but the show must go on. Where do you think you was going, Peggy? He did a great job. And what's also pretty cool is that at least one of you guys were also there. So maybe we saw each other and didn't even know it. Like I said, I was one of the only people wearing a mask in the venue, so I was probably pretty easy to spot. The only thing other than the initial mosh pit that kind of freaked me out was that there was like a pickpocket or something in the venue. Apparently he stole like 10 phones. So if you were there, make sure you have all of your stuff with you. I don't think I filmed anything the next day. I was mostly working, but we did take a little break to watch Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. I'm so happy I got to see it. I'm going to re-binge the entire season soon. That night was a chill night. Um, I was still working and then I accidentally deleted a bunch of really, really important data. I spent the entire rest of the night in panic mode, so it was not a fun time, but then we left the next morning, so there's really nothing to share with you there. As always, thank you for watching and be the friend who reaches out first.